Hi, this is Sweet June coming back at you with another video. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, like, hit the thumbs up. Um, I know this video is actually late. I really, I didn't really want to post a video yesterday because it was Halloween and I didn't think, you know, if I had posted anything, it probably... People probably be so busy watching Halloween stuff, so and I don't obviously don't celebrate that holiday. I don't celebrate any of them. Uh, Jehovah's Witnesses, uh, we don't celebrate holidays. Or I quit celebrating Halloween before I became a witness. Um, the last time I celebrated Halloween, my son was my youngest son was. Um, three years old that was the last time I celebrated and I it, I just at that time and that was before I became a witness um years before I became one um at the time you know God just you know he convicted my heart and I just felt like well I, as a believer as a believer in God um I just didn't feel like it was a good holiday for me to be celebrating as a believer in God. You know, if I'm a believer and I always consider myself a believer, um, um, before I became, before I became a witness, I always considered myself a believer. Um, so I figured as a believer, um, I should not be celebrating this holiday. Um, I just didn't, after a while, I just didn't feel right uh, celebrating. Um, it, it's a very demonic holiday. A lot of people don't understand. I just want to educate you guys on the origins. I'm on here on Wapika. And I just want to educate you. The uh, reason why Jehovah's Witnesses don't celebrate holidays because they're pagan. I mean, you can do a Google search. So I pulled this up. Um, and it'll educate you. Um, they have books on the origins of all these holidays, and um, they they all have pagan roots. Even celebration of birthdays uh, has pagan roots. Um, so um, you can do a Google search, and anybody can do the research on on holidays, um, and educate and learn about the pagan roots of each holiday and um they're not um of god they're not of god um and halloween now this holiday in particular is not only pagan it's demonic it's, it, it goes a whole lot deeper than it being pagan it's a demonic holiday and it is the celebration of death a lot of people um when they have children, they want to take them trick-or-treating or whatever. And it's really, really, I don't know why anybody would want to take their children trick-or-treating um, in this day and age and the way this system is uh, with the coronavirus. And um, I know with some people around here that found stuff in the candy, especially particularly with the coronavirus, why would you want to take your children trick-or-treating in the corona in a in the midst of a pandemic, but, um, and I, I celebrated it when my oldest son was little, um, youngest son until he was three, just like everybody else, just like everybody else, you know, like, oh, it's fun for the, it's really fun for the kids. And, you know, you, you, it's fun for the kids. You can get them the little costumes. Now I gotta, I gotta admit the children look so cute and they look outfits and costumes i gotta admit that they look really cute in their uh, costumes and a lot of people a lot of parents figure oh it's 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 a fun day for the children you know you get their little costume and their little outfits and uh you know and you you know ask them what they want to be or whatever situation like that and i know when my son was three <laughs> my youngest son was three now don't judge me he, I was just telling him this the other day because he doesn't remember because he was only three years old. Um, 
because he actually ditched me one year. Um, Halloween fell on a, a meeting night and he actually ditched me one year. I was looking, I was searching high and low for him and he, I could not find him. And I said, I bet you that little bugger went trick-or-treating. And he did. He ditched me to go trick-or-treating. And so I asked him the other day, I said, you went trick-or-treating that night, didn't you? He said, yeah. <laughs> he admitted now because he's he grown up. He know I can't whoop him. <laughs> But I, I figured, I, I knew that back then. I knew that's what he did. He literally ditched me to go trick-or-treating. And I told him, I said, I, I, you know, you did go when you were a baby, but he didn't really, he just doesn't remember because he was only three years old. And he was the, I had him dressed as the Grim Reaper. <laughs> Don't judge me. But he was the Grim Reaper. And I had, I had bought the little outfit and he had his little sickle and everything. <laughs> crazy. But, um, I was just like, I was just like everybody else when I was in the world, you know, I was just like everybody else, all, you know, oh, it'd be cute for the kids to dress up and, you know, you take them trick or treating. We can, you know, I used to, we used to go to the good neighborhoods and get all the good candy. You know, we would go to the good neighborhoods because it just, it just felt safer and the good neighborhoods always had the best candy. And so we, we make the little drive over to the good neighborhoods and, 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 you know, just like everybody else, I'm thinking, oh, it's fun for the children, but it, it's, it's really, but then I just, God just convicted me, Jehovah God just convicted my heart, and I said, well, if I'm a believer, should I be really, should I be celebrating this holiday if I'm a believer, if I'm really believing in God and I really want to please God, do I really want to celebrate this holiday, so that's, after that, I just quit celebrating it after that. This, I didn't feel right celebrating it after that. Because um, I felt like as a believer in God, um, I didn't want to glorify anything. that I didn't want to glorify anything that had to do with Satan. I didn't, I didn't want to put that. I didn't want to put that kind of energy on my kids. I didn't want to put that kind of energy in my house. I didn't want to put that kind of energy on me. And I didn't want to put that kind of energy on my children, you know. So I stopped celebrating it years, a long time ago. So a lot of people don't understand the origins of a lot of these holidays. And they just do it, you know, because they celebrated it when they were kids. A lot of people celebrate it out of ignorance because they don't know, you know. Or a lot of people probably don't don't care. You either don't know, don't care, or both. Uh, and they're celebrating it out of ignorance, not knowing um, how um, demonic, how much demonic energy, lots of evil things and lots of mean, a lot of people do a lot of mean things on Halloween. Um, people do lots of evil things on Halloween, you know. So it's, it's um, so I just wanted to educate you guys on the history of this holiday I know this video is late, but oh well, better late than now. I was I wasn't even gonna talk about it, but I figured it'd be I'm still up late night, so I figured this would be a good video to just educate, just educate you guys, no judgment, just educating you. Um that's what I'm I'm all about on this channel. I'm all about I said I'm gonna educate you guys, so <laughs> uh like I said on, on my other video, I'm gonna educate. I'm gonna educate you. You gonna you gonna you gonna get some learning on my channel. <laughs> so I'm here on Wapika, and it says the Halloween, uh, the contradiction of All Halloween Evening, less commonly known as All Halloween, All Hallows Eve, All Saints Eve, is a celebration observance in many countries on October 31st, the Eve of Western. Christian feast, hmm. All Hallows Day. It begins the observance of All Hallowide, Hallowtide, in the time of the liturgical year dedicated to remembering the dead. So it's dedicated. It's a celebration of death, that remembering the dead, including saints, martyrs, martyrs, and all the departed. One theory holds that many holiday traditions were influenced by Celtic harvest festivals 
particularly the Galactic Festival of, uh, I put my glasses on, uh, particularly the Galactic Festival of Shadhain, which I believe to have pagan roots. Some go further and suggest that Shadhain may have been Christianized as All Hallows Day along with its Eve by the early church. Other, other academics believe Halloween begins solely as a Christian holiday, being the vigil of All Hallows Day. Hmm, that's interesting. A Christian holiday. Celebrated in Ireland and Scotland for centuries, Isaiah and Scottish immigrants brought many Halloween customs to North America in the 19th century, and then through American influence, Halloween spread to other countries by the late 20th and early 21st century. So that's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. So, um, Halloween activities include trick-or-treating uh, or related hope you guys can see this it's i know it's a little blurry i'm sorry about that i don't know why but uh, i don't know if i have it try to have it zoomed just right solving attending halloween costume parties carving pumpkins into jack-o-lanterns lightning bonfires apple bobbing divination games playing pranks visiting haunted attractions telling scary stories as well as watching horror films. For some people, the Christian religious observance of All Hallows' Eve, including attending church services and lighting candles on the graves of the dead, remain popular, although for others it is a secular celebration. Some Christians historically abstain from meat all on All Hallows' Eve, tradition reflecting and eating of certain vegetarian foods on the vigil day. Oh, that's interesting. So, back in the day, they considered it a Christian holiday. That's interesting. Now, that's something I didn't know. It talks about the Christian origins. It was considered a Christian holiday back in the day. So, that's interesting. Uh... And it talks about the Christian origins and customs. Halloween is thought to have Christian roots and Christian beliefs and practices. The name Halloween comes from All Hallows Eve being the evening before Christian Holy Days of All Hallows Day. On November 1st, All Saints Souls Day. On the second November since the time of the early church. So it, it, it has, it's supposed to that's really something how it, they say it has Christian customs. That's really interesting how to say it's supposed to have Christian customs. So I guess that explains why these churches observe it. <laughs> Some of these churches observe, observe it. But yeah, it talks about... Uh, this is Wapika. So you can go on there, get website yourself if you don't want to read it from Wapika, but there's there's other articles and things on Google. You just do a simple Google search and it will tell you the origin and the history of Halloween. But yeah, it's basically a celebration of death. Um, and the, the thing is, um, I don't think nobody wants to think about death when it comes to their loved ones, so I don't know why would you want to celebrate a holiday that observes it that makes you think about death, you know, because um, nobody really wants to think about that, you know. So I just wanted to give you guys a little history on this holiday. Uh, this is something to think about. Um, something to think about. Um, and it's demonic, you know. It's demonic. It's not not a, 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 a something that God would approve of. It. It's not 
a holiday that he would approve of. And I guess if you are wanting to be a Christian or or you um if some um you say you're a Christian or you want to be a Christian or if you really really care about God's views on things um it's something to think about it's just something to meditate on cuz a lot of people they celebrate the holiday out of ignorance not really realizing and it's this is something that they've always done and and they celebrate it out of ignorance a lot of people don't probably don't know um the true origins of Hall- Halloween because they just something that they've been doing all their life and a lot of people just think it's cute for the kids and all that stuff and a lot of people may not have the knowledge of all this but uh clearly if you want to you have the desire to please God and to do what is pleasing to him then we don't want to celebrate anything that um that uh, glorifies Satan because basically Halloween glorifies Satan. So we definitely don't want to, we, we, we want to be pleasing to God. We definitely don't want to celebrate anything that glorifies Satan because we know that Satan is the opposite of God. So we don't, we don't, you know, if, if you, if you are cognizant of that and you um, don't want to do anything to displease God, or you really do care about God's views on uh, this holiday, then it's something to meditate on. It's something to meditate on, something for you to think about, and um, just educating you guys. So go ahead, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, so every time I do a, no- a video, you'll be notified. Until the next video, peace and love. This is Sweet June.